All right, it's a quick video just to show how show you how I use the stabilizer feature. Uh, in a nutshell, what it allows me to do is to control ground noise and uh, increase my um, sensitivity on really, really difficult sites. Now, this here is a, a, an Anglo-Saxon site. It's um, it's very, very noisy. What I do, I've, I've set it up now with the stabilizer off. Sensitivity at 25, it's been noise cancelled and ground balanced. So it's all ready to go. But as soon as I get down to the ground, you'll hear there's a lot of noise, a lot of feedback. Okay, now normally what I'd have to do when it's this noisy, hear how noisy it is. Now, the normal thing you'd have to do is switch it down to about 18. And then obviously that noise is now gone. Okay, but um, I want to get the most out of my sights. So I want to push that sensitivity. So once I push the sensitivity, the, keep it off the ground and turn it up. I want it to just start chattering. About there. Come back one. Come back two. So I'm, I know I'm setting up the noise to the EMI, but that's um, that's usually about 25 is about there. Okay, oh, there's that noise back again. Now, I don't want to run it in discrimination because obviously if in discrimination, also that noise would go. But because you're getting lots of complex iron targets like that, you can hear that. That's an iron target, but I can hear there's a low tone and a high tone. So it's going to be something like a sheared bolt, sheared nut or something. Okay, so what I'll do is the stabilizer I'll turn it up to five. Okay, I found that this is about the best setting on this site and straight away you can hear, you still got the iron. It's made that complex signal degrade so you can tell definitely now it's iron. And if there was any doubt before, there's no doubt now. But listen to the general background noise. Now, I want to hear iron, I just don't want to hear that noise ground, that ground noise. Okay, can you hear how quiet it is now? The iron's still there. 